This is David from SwimmingPoolLearning.com and in this video I'm going to go over how a pool pro sanitizes the pool weekly and we do things a little differently than the typical homeowner since we're there just once a week, excluding commercial accounts of course. We use a combination of liquid chlorine and 3 inch trichlor tablets or Cal Hypo with 3 inch trichlor tablets. Sometimes we use a combination of dichlor with Cal Hypo or liquid chlorine. And the chlorine that we use is 12.5%, the calhypo is 70 to 73%, and the trichlor is 99% trichlor. And we use this combination approach for two reasons. One is to ensure that the pool has a free chlorine level of 3 to 5 parts per million all week long. And the other reason we use it is to mitigate some of the byproducts of these chlorine products. Every chlorine product has a byproduct, and this is a calculation based on 10,000 gallons of water. Liquid chlorine will add salt to your pool, and for every 10 parts per million of free chlorine that's used, you're going to add about 8 or 9 parts per million of salt. Trichlor adds cyanuric acid to the water, and so for every pound of trichlor that you add, you're going to add 7 parts per million of cyanuric acid, or CYA. Calhypo adds calcium to the pool, so for every 10 parts per million of free chlorine, you add 7 to 8 parts per million of calcium to the pool. And if you're using dichlor, for every pound of dichlor, you're adding 6 to 7 parts per million of cyanuric acid to the pool. You don't want to use trichlor with dichlor since they have the same byproduct, which is cyanuric acid. Trichlor tablets are great because they slowly dissolve during the week and they have the cyanuric acid in them to protect them from burning off from the sun's UV rays. Liquid chlorine and calhypo do not contain any cyanuric acid. And so if you are going to use those as your primary sanitizer, you may want to use a liquid chlorine feeder or add liquid chlorine every three or four days during the summer. And you would also either use Kelhypo tablets or add Kelhypo to the pool every three or four days also during the peak summer days. And that's why trichlor tablets are great to use in combination with Kelhypo and liquid chlorine. If you're using either of these as your primary sanitizer, the trichlor tablets will help keep a free chlorine level in your pool all week long. And the combination approach is a great way to reduce one byproduct being added to the pool water. Of course, you may need to do a partial drain at some time during the season or after the season. Or if you get a lot of rain in your area, the water will be diluted. Just note that the cyanuric acid, the salt, and the calcium does not evaporate out of the pool. It can only be lowered by draining and refilling or by dilution of the water. Your pool pro will test the water for these byproducts to make sure that your pool is balanced and maintained in the proper parameters. For example, you want to maintain the cyanuric acid level at 50 to 100 parts per million in a pool. You also want to make sure the calcium level stays within 200 to 400 parts per million. And salt is an element in the TDS or total dissolved solid number of your pool. And you want to maintain your TDS level below 2,000 parts per million. So the combination approach of sanitizing your pool water is a great way to make sure that not just one byproduct is being added to your pool water weekly. And keep in mind a partial drain and refill of your pool water will help reduce the byproduct levels from the sanitizers you use in your pool weekly. And if your pool has a salt water generator, generally you don't need to add any other chlorine product to your pool. The salt water generator should produce enough chlorine each week to maintain the proper chlorine level in your pool. And that's why pool pros and homeowners like salt water generators. It makes adding chlorine to your pool simple and easy.